Indie Mogul. This episode of Indie Mogul is brought to you by A Nightmare on Elm Street in theaters April 30th. <laughs> you think we're done with you? Oh no. We've only just begun. This week we're gonna show you how to recreate Freddy's burnt up skin. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Welcome to another special Nightmare on Elm Street build episode. Yesterday, we showed you how to make Freddy's iconic clawed glove. And today, we're gonna show you how to recreate his burned up face. Just like Freddy's glove, making someone look burned up and grotesque has been a heavily requested effect. Rustair666, username Aaron, not OK19, Pete359, Short Troy, Chad Liggett, The Muffin Man, Monkey the 13th, Murder. Chip, Scott, Sam gone mad, Talk Productions, and Mr. Tree have all requested some high quality Freddy Burn makeup for cheap. Here to determine our budget, as always, is Gary. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Woo A bald cap, spirit gum, liquid latex, nose wax, baby oil, some clear plastic wrap, and assorted makeup. Time now. Woo! For this project, we'll be turning to build team member Julie. As you'll see, this project elaborates on some of our previous builds like Two-Face and Voldemort. So for more insight, check those out. The first step is to apply the bald cap. To get the bald cap, you can either buy one at the store or make your own as we showed you in the bald cap episode. Application of the bald cap is the same as in previous BFX episodes, except in this one, you don't need to bother stippling latex along the end. Now that you've made your actor bald, we need to start building up the texture of his burnt up flesh. Using nose wax, roll out many different size strips. Apply spirit gum to the face and spread the nose wax strips over it. This is meant to resemble burnt musculature, so be sure to leave a few gaps and holes here and there. And remember that Freddy's face should look misshapen and pockmarked. Next, using baby oil and your fingers, smooth down all the wax. You'll want all the nose putty to be smoothed down enough so that all the pieces sort of run together. Next, take pieces of your plastic wrap and putting spirit gum down first, lay the plastic wrap over the wax and all over the face. Smooth your plastic wrap down over the wax as best you can because you do not want air bubbles or pockets. Now take a sponge and spread a thin layer of liquid latex all over the plastic wrap and let dry. To speed up the drying process of the liquid latex, you can use a blow dryer set on cool, but never hot. Now we paint. Dart with deep purples and reds and tap them into any holes or pock marks you created in the face. Use your darkest colors along the inner edge to make the gaps seem deeper. Then powder the edge. Next, apply a layer of flesh tone makeup over the actor's entire face, then powder again. Finish up by adding some more plastic wrap and liquid latex to the neck and hands and you are done. When you combine this makeup, a red and green sweater, an old fedora, and the glove we showed you how to make yesterday, you have the complete Freddy package. All that's left is to hunt down some teenagers in their dreams. Well, we've had a lot of fun showing you how to recreate Freddy's claw and his burn makeup. Sadly, with all the time we took creating our Freddy, we didn't actually shoot a test film. But don't worry, we'll be back next week and you can see the new Freddy doing his thing in A Nightmare on Elm Street in theaters April 30th. Bye bye. A very important addition to any Freddy Krueger, zombie, or other gross creature is gross teeth. You gotta put some makeup, browns and blacks on those chompers.